Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to get a semi-untethered jailbreak on your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation, as well as the first iPad. So to start off, you will need to be jailbroken with Red Snow's tethered jailbreak on one of those devices before you actually do this because you do need Cydia and you need to install a specific package in order to get it. So if you aren't already jailbroken, then I will have a link to my jailbreak instructional video down below in the more Info. Make sure you watch that. Once you are jailbroken with Red Snow, come back to this video and you will be able to get your semi untethered jailbreak on your iDevice. Alright, so before I actually go into all of the limitations of the semi untethered jailbreak and actually explain what it is, I just wanted to say that you can gain additional entries to my All Things Apple giveaway in this video simply by rating it up, favoriting it, and leaving a comment down below in the comment section with the phrase, all things Apple giveaway. However, you do need to meet the prerequisites before you actually do those things to gain an additional entry. And the prerequisites are listed on one of my videos and I will have that down below in the more info. And once you've done that, and once you've watched that video and entered the all things Apple giveaway, you have the opportunity to win a brand new unlocked iPhone 4S, an iPod Touch, an iPod Nano, as well as an iPod Shuffle. All right, so now that I've mentioned that, uh, I do have an iPod Touch fourth generation here. It is jailbroken on iOS 5, so I'm going to go inside of the settings app really quick, general about, and as you can see for the version, it does say 5.0. All right, so I have Cydia, and I have it right here, and I'm going to open it up, and it's going to resume where I was on the Big Boss website, and I'm going to go over all of the things that a semi-tethered jailbreak means, basically. All right, so here we are, and I'm going to scroll down here. All right, so first of all, with this semi-tethered jailbreak, you can use your phone to make calls, you can send text messages with it, and you can use all other stock apps on your iDevice. However, you cannot use Safari. If you need to use uh, some type of application to access the internet, then you can download something from the app stores such as uh, atomic web browser you cannot use the mail application you cannot use any jailbreak tweaks or applications or anything that you download from Cydia and at the same time if you install something to notification center then every time you try and access notification center while you're in that semi tethered boot stage then uh, you will actually basically crash and the only way to get out of it is to do just boot tethered with red snow. So that's basically what a semi-tethered jailbreak is. Like if your device powers off, then you can turn it back on and still use it with limited functionality. All right, so in order to actually get it, what you have to do is go to uh, the place where you actually add sources on your iDevice. Simply manage, edit, add, and you will be able to add your source. So in order to do this, we will need to add this source right here. It is thebigboss.org forward slash semi tether and I will have that down below in the more info so you don't have to worry about getting it right now. But again, here it is, thebigboss.org forward slash semi tether. Once you have it, simply go into it and you will be able to install it. So I'm going to install it now. All right, now I'm going to reboot my iPod Touch here, and you will notice that it will boot up. However, I won't be able to use the things that I've already mentioned. And also too, I'm just going to let this play through, and I'm not gonna cut anything out and show you guys just how long it takes to actually boot up. All right, so here we go. And we are booted into uh, my iPod Touch here. However, if you try and use Safari, again, it won't work. It'll just crash. Mail will not work. 
it will basically just stay there. It won't do anything. So again, if you need to use uh, email or if you need to email someone, then you have to download a type of email application from the app store. And again, obviously Cydia will not work and anything that you download and install from Cydia will not work, but it's better than nothing. And then when you are around a computer, then you can plug it into your computer and you can use Red Snow's Just Boot Mode to get into your Tether jailbreak and access all of the things that you've downloaded as well as Safari and Mail. So again, I hope you guys liked this video and don't forget to gain additional entries to my All Things Apple giveaway in this video. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.